Let's go! So something that I've noticed in my own life is I'll be so excited for summer the entire school year and then once it's here, I'll just be like... like there's nothing to do. And I'll end up just like scrolling on my phone or like staying home and like not accomplishing anything and then when I go back to school, everyone's like, oh my gosh, like, what did you do over the summer? I like don't even know what I did. And I feel like I wasted my entire summer like doing nothing. So something that I've started doing in recent years is making a summer bucket list. And then I try to check off a bunch of things off the list so that I have some sort of like a plan. A lot of them are just like really fun things you can do at home with like very minimal prep or effort. So let's just start and get into it. You can ride a bike or you can ride like a razor scooter if that's more your vibe you can decorate your driveway with sidewalk chalk or you could decorate like the sidewalk by your house with chalk you can clean your room clean your closet you can make friendship bracelets either with like embroidery floss or you could bust out your old rainbow loom if you want to do that you can cook dinner for your family you can bake something you can pull out a pinterest recipe that you saved like four years ago that you never got around to making you can walk somewhere nearby, whether it be a gas station or like a restaurant or a friend's house. You can watch a movie or have a movie marathon or binge watch an entire Netflix series. You can read a book, whether it's for school, like summer reading, or just for fun. You can play Just Dance. Even if you don't have the Wii game, you can look them up and find them on YouTube. You can try out makeup tutorials on YouTube. It can be like a clean girl, really like minimalist, or you can just pull out like a James Charles tutorial and try your best at it. You can have a picnic. You can invite your friends, or you could just do this by yourself and have a charcuterie board and wear like a white flowy dress and make it all like cottage core and aesthetic. You can have a bonfire and make s'mores. And if you don't have a fire pit at your own house, you can go to a local park or a campground that has fire pits available for you to use. You can wake up early. I know, to see the sunrise, which would be really pretty. Or if you're not the kind of person to wake up early, you can just watch the sunset. You can paint your nails or go get your nails done. You can hula hoop, you can jump rope, you can blow bubbles and channel your inner child. You can online shop and save a bunch of things to your cart, but the buying part is optional but it's just fun to look around. You can play a board game with your family. My personal favorite is Shoots and Ladders or Clue, I love Clue. You can have a water gun fight. And if you don't have water guns, you can literally get them at Five Below or like Dollar Tree. But you can do this with your family, with your friends, with kids in your neighborhood, but it is so much fun on a really hot day. You can catch fireflies, not feelings. <laughs> You can go to a new restaurant in your area or just like a restaurant that you've never been to before. You can go to a gas station and get slushies. You can have a karaoke night. It could just be you and your own little personal concert or you can do this with your family or with your friends. You can take a hike. Did I say that? No, you can take a hike. You can have a dance party. You can tan outside in like your front yard, your backyard. You can follow a workout plan all the way through. I know tons of fitness YouTubers have like week long or two week long like workout plans and you can just do that every day and see like what your results are. You can go to a local library and get a book or just look around. You can have a photo shoot with your friends or you can go by yourself and just dress up how you want to and go to an aesthetic photo taking location. You can have a PowerPoint night. I've been seeing these all over TikTok and they actually look like so much fun where everyone prepares a PowerPoint on like a kind of silly topic and then you all share them at like PowerPoint night. You can build a fort. You can go bowling, you can go see a movie, you can go to an arcade, you can go go-kart driving. There are so many like fun activities to do if you want to like leave the house and go do something. You can go see a movie or you can have a movie night at home and you can make like popcorn, you can invite tons of people. I think that would be really fun. Or if you have a projector, you could do it like outside, which would be really cool. This is something I've always wanted to try, but you can dress up with your friends and go eat at like a really casual restaurant. Like I'm talking like 
prom dresses and you go eat it like Chick-fil-A. Like that is like bucket list for me. You can make your own ice cream at home. There's tons of recipes online of how to do it. And I think it's pretty good. You can tie-dye a shirt or a hoodie or like some socks if you're feeling that. You can attend like a summer community festival where they have like rides and like food trucks and stuff. But if your town doesn't do that, then you could go to like the one of the next town over. You can go to a concert, maybe not like the Eras tour, but like something local in your area. You can make your own pizzas at home for dinner. You can go to a sporting event of any kind. Maybe it's like your school sporting event or maybe it's just like your city baseball team. You can host a party for your friends, does not really matter what theme it is, but I personally love a good luau. You can make a summer Spotify playlist, or a couple, I think I actually have like six summer playlists for all the different vibes of summer. You can learn a TikTok dance, or a few. You can babysit kids in your neighborhood, or your siblings, or you can dog sit for someone when they go on vacation. This is like the best time of year to do that and it helps you make some extra money, which is always good to have for summer. You can go on YouTube and find like braiding tutorials, French braid tutorials, Dutch braid tutorials. I am like atrocious at doing hair, but I've always wanted to learn how and you have so much time this summer, you might as well. You can try to stretch every day this summer and get all your splits if you're like a dancer or a gymnast or you do yoga and you just wanna be more flexible. Honestly, I think the main takeaways here are to be creative, don't be afraid of like leaving your house and doing stuff even if it feels like kind of weird, but the whole point is like it's summer and this is the time to like do things that are outside of your comfort zone and really be creative with your time because you have so much of it. I mean, when else are you going to have this much free time during the school year? I mean, I barely have time to like breathe during the school year. So if there's something that you've been wanting to do but you've never really gotten around to it, like summer is that time, take that opportunity and don't be afraid. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe this will help you think of some things to do this summer so by the end you're not just like feeling like you wasted your time or anything like that. If you like this type of video, I'll be posting much more like it this summer so make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.